Hi everyone, let's talk about the Euclidean algorithm. The Euclidean algorithm is a method of finding the greatest common divisor of two integers such that at least one of them is non-zero. And it's based in a sort of version of the Euclidean algorithm but a more basic idea called, which I like to call the FAW Euclidean algorithm because um, it's not exactly the Euclidean algorithm but you can derive the Euclidean algorithm from it and a lot of times this version which I'm going to explain in just a moment people call it the Euclidean algorithm since it's so important in itself. So what it says is that if a and b are in the integers and a squared plus b squared is not zero which just means that at least one of them is non zero and k is in the integers then gcd of a b is equal to the gcd of a plus k b and b so you can add any multiple of b to a and leave b a is as is um, and you will still have the same number which is the gcd of a and b and I'm going to first prove this so that there's no doubt about it. it. It is a very strange theorem that the GCD of A and B would be preserved even if we altered one of the entries in this way. So I'm going to prove this and then I'll describe the Euclidean algorithm that's based on this. So first of all, notice that GCD of A and B, it divides A and it divides B then what that means is that GCD of A and B, I'm just going to use, I'm going to drop the GCD now since this is pretty standard notation for it, just coordinates A and B. It represents the GCD of A and B. That means this divides A plus KB. In fact, it divides any integer linear combination of A and B because of this. And we also know just from what I wrote over here that A GCD of AB also divides B. So what that means is that AB is a common divisor of A plus KB and B. Now what Bezu's lemma then tells us is that the GCD of AB divides the GCD of A plus KB and B because any common divisor of two numbers divides their greatest common divisor. Now we can we can apply this in a sort of reverse fashion. We can go in this direction as well using using this idea. What we can say is that GCD of A plus KB and B, it divides GCD of A plus KB minus KB because minus K is also an integer and B and that's just a GCD of A and B. So we have this and we have this. So by anti-symmetry which says that if C divides D and D divides C and they're both positive then C equals to D so that means the GCD of A and B is equal to the GCD of A plus KB and B. Okay, so that proves the FAW Euclidean algorithm. Now what we're going to do is repeatedly apply this. Repeatedly apply the FAW Euclidean algorithm using Euclidean division. And this is best described using a, an example. So instead of showing you a general algorithm which with all sorts of remainders and quotients and variables, uh, I'm just going to show you what this looks like in practice. Let's say we're trying to find the GCD of 48 and 18. Then what we do is that we find the remainder and quotient of 48 divided by 18 and so that's 2 times 18 plus 12. So we're using Euclidean division over, over here. 
and that equals by the fog Euclid algorithm we can get rid of this part and we find that this is just equal to the GCD of 12 and 18 and we're just gonna flip it over so that the bigger one is on the left side and now we do we do do 8 divided by 12 in Euclidean division and we find that this is 1 times 12 plus 6 comma 12 and now we can get rid of this as well because by the Fall Euclidean algorithm so we get 6 and 12 and at this point we could stop because the answer is clearly 6 but we'll keep going so we flip it over again and we get 12 6 and we find that this is 2 times 6 comma 6 and there's a remainder of 0 here so we find that this is 0 comma 6 which is equal to 6 comma 0 and the answer the GCD of 6 and 0 well the GCD of n and 0 for any positive or non-zero non integer n is just n so the answer is 6 so this is how this is how it generally works with the Euclidean algorithm you keep going until you have an integer and 0 and the answer has to be that integer which is the second last um, remainder the the first or the, the last non-zero remainder so that's how the Euclidean algorithm works and the last thing I want to talk talk about is the difference between multiplicative problems and additive problems in general in the analysis of algorithms and in complexity theory people have found that multiplicative problems are more difficult than additive problems. Additive problems are easier. Um, but the Euclidean algorithm is remarkable because what happens is that by the miracle of Eu the Euclidean algorithm, the multiplicative task of finding the GCD is reduced to a sequence of additive tasks. That means that it's not going to be an exponential algorithm. I, I won't get into the complexity of the algorithm, but it's certainly lower than, than exponential. Thanks for listening, and I'll see you next time.